Hey, what is up my beauties and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're gonna just jump right into it i will be trying out two different items so for the first one which is this bang lace scarf so y'all it's basically a scarf with some edges <laughs> and it's 100 percent natural version remy human hair um, that's what it says on a package and 100 hand knotted and then i will also be trying out this ponytail it's a wavy curly ponytail not really sure the texture if it's a water wave or what but it's in the color 1b and here's a little bit more information about the wig as well it also comes with some barbie pants and some binders and so i'm just taking it out of the package right now so you guys can see the texture of the ponytail it's a little wavy doesn't have a tight curl i would say it's like a water wave i might be wrong but yeah this is how it looks now i'm going to go ahead and take the scarf out of its packaging so i can give you guys a better look and one thing about the packaging there was a bunch of clips on the package as well so just be aware of that so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just taking off all the clips there were about 10 clips on the packaging on the scarf and so that took me a little while to just open it up but as i got it open you guys can see um, where the lace is at and you guys can see um, the hair a little bit of edges that are that is on the scarf as well and then on the packaging there are steps on how to apply the scarf and so there was about like 11 steps and so the first step was to cut the lace off of the scarf but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and just pull my hair back and put my hair in a ponytail and then I'm going to take some of those bobby pins and use that for the hair that's on the front that did not pull back to my ponytail and then I'm going to take some got to be glue and brush my edges back and now as you guys can see the first step is to cut the lace so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now now it would have been smart for me to just put the scarf on a mannequin head and just cut the lace that way because doing it this way was a little bit difficult see i was working harder not smarter but if y'all decide to get this just make sure y'all put this on a mannequin head and do it the easy way but once i was finished this is how it turned out this is how it looks i'm just giving you guys a closer look of how everything looks so far and then the second step is to tint the lace with foundation i went ahead and grabbed some concealer that matched my skin tone and applied that to the little bit of lace that was on the scarf now i really wish the knots came bleached already man that would have saved a whole lot of time but the next step is to set the scarf properly on my head matching the baby hairs to my natural hairline and so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do now and i'm just seeing you know where i want to place it and just seeing how well it fits on my head too but then i had to realize like you know what i can't even put this scarf on my head yet i need to apply this ponytail first and so let's go ahead and bring out this ponytail so that we can go ahead and secure the ponytail first and then we're going to apply the scarf second and so the inside of the ponytail it comes with like a comb and then it has a drawstring at the bottom as well and so just giving you guys a closer look of everything right now and now I'm just applying the ponytail and I am making sure I use both the comb and the jawstring. I'm pulling on a jawstring to make sure that the ponytail is tight and that it is secure. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that jawstring and wrap it around the top of the ponytail. And then I'm going to take a barbie pin and make sure I secure the jawstring. Lastly, I'm just going to take some hair from the ponytail and wrap that around the top of the ponytail. And this is also going to make sure that the ponytail is secure. And then I'm also going to take some got to be glue spray and this is just going to help to make sure that the hair stays down. And then lastly, I'm going to take another barbie pin and make sure that I pin the hair in place and make sure that everything is secure. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply this scarf. And so again, I'm just matching it up to my hairline and just figuring out how I want it and just trying to figure out what looks best. And... Yeah, I'm just playing with it right now. And then once I figured out how I wanted it, I went ahead and tightened it up a little bit. Because I noticed like the, the size like by the ear was coming up a little bit. But that could be due to like I needed like some glue or something to like really hold it down. But anyways, I decided to just put some barbie pins on the ends and to just see if that worked. But maybe I just needed like some glue to like really hold it down. So 
I didn't try that I just decided to just use the bobby pins instead but now I'm going to go ahead and just cut the hair um, a little bit so I can go ahead and do my edges and this razor was a little dull so I said skip this razor where the scissors at I found me some scissors and I started cutting and yeah so I'm just cutting it right cutting the hair right now and then just getting it to a length where I think it's okay because like these baby hairs was a little too long baby a little too long for me to work with and so now I'm just taking my flat iron and I'm going to go ahead and curl up my edges and I wanted to still have my edges a little bit long but not too long because I still wanted to give off like a dramatic look so yeah that's why I didn't cut them too short but y'all like I really messed up on my edges before even like curling my edges with the flat iron I had put some got to be glue on my edges and then I try to go back behind and try to flat iron and then apply some got to be glue afterwards again like y'all I just really messed up well I kind of cut that part out where I applied the got to be glue first before curling it but don't do too much I'm not a professional edge slayer or nothing like that I'm not a professional at, at doing hair so don't come for me you know don't do too much okay just check out the end results okay all right y'all so this is the end results this is the final look i'm really really happy the way that this turned out i think it's super cute y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below but i think it's super cute it is super easy it is super convenient and the it's given like you know anybody can do this like they have directions so you can't say that you don't know what you're doing because they got directions for you sis okay and i give you directions with the video so come back to this video if you need help okay but here's the back of my head you can't even tell that i have locks underneath this scarf like i really accomplished that goal like that was my goal for this video to make it look like i don't even have locks and where is the locks you can't even tell that i have locks like what but don't get me wrong i love my locks okay do not get me wrong i love my locks okay i'm gonna just put that out there but sometimes i just love to switch it up that's why i'm always trying new things i'm always experimenting and this is an easy and convenient way to just try a new style but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you all on the next video bye